Hey guys, as promised in my previous video, when I was uh, unpacking and reviewing this uh, new Whoop style uh, 12 amp F4 flight controller board from Gep RC, uh, uh, I, I mentioned that I will talk about how I connected uh, RxSR to this flight controller to get the telemetry. Okay, so RxSR receiver comes uh, originally with an S port and S bus firmware, and you can just use an S bus out. Uh, to the RC pad and you will get the RC signal everything will work, but you won't get telemetry Okay in order for telemetry to work you need to get the S port uh, to connect to uh, an additional uh, UART which this board does not come with it's only comes with UART 2 Okay, so what I had to do is I had to flash the RxSR receiver to an F port firmware and I had to get an uninverted signal out of the RxSR into the flight controller and the flight controller has this R2 and T2 pads right there and these are uninverted pads okay and let me move to the desktop and I will show you exactly the diagram the connection diagram and kind of a couple websites where uh, I had to grab additional information in order to figure that out okay so here you can see I got the flight controller and RX, RxSR and the pad I'm talking about is marked with a P and a line on top of it, okay? This is the uninverted S port pad, but after you flash this with an F port firmware, this becomes an F port uninverted signal, okay? So what I've done is I've grabbed this signal from the P and I, I connected it to the T2 pad on the flight controller okay so that's that's what I was able to do be careful soldering this P um, pad on RxSR it's very tiny and make sure you use a small wire like a 30 gauge wire with a silicone high quality coating that way it doesn't doesn't pull that pad and of course just make sure you connect your plus 5 and connect your uh, ground as well okay so this is the connection that worked for me. I was able to get both RC signal and telemetry. Okay, just make sure you have your receiver flashed to an F port. Okay, and I will show you right here the software I had to use in order for the F port to work. Okay, in my case, I flashed it with a access firmware version 1.1.1. .1 .1. And I used an F port. Once you download, you get both S port and F port. I used an F port. Okay. So if you don't have an access capable transmitter, you can just go here on F port protocol firmware and just download the latest F port protocol firmware. All you would have to do is just connect it in a D8 or D16, whatever your transmitter is. So they, they both should work. In my case, I have an access capable uh, transmitter, which is XLite Pro, and that's what I used, and it worked for me. But I'm sure it will work with other F ports of uh, firmware. So, just kind of uh, let you know what I used to figure out this connection and why I did it that way. So, first of all, on GEPRC uh, website, you have the kind of specs on this board. And I noticed an, it's an F411 uh, board. Okay. It's an F411 board by MyTech. Um, and what I've done is I went on the MyTech SUS uh, website and um, right here on this specific page, and I will, I, will, I will share the links in the description. You will see that specifically for 411 series boards, in order for the smart port to work, you got to get an uninverted hacked version um, of the signal and then to any URTX pad. Okay, and these are the CLI commands for the beta flight. Okay, so this is what worked for me. Um, and uh, I'm actually excited that it worked because I did spend a good bit of time to, to troubleshoot this and try to get it to work, okay? So let's move back to the, the whole connection uh, and uh, my soldering job, and uh, I will show you that it does work. Um, I will connect the transmitter, 
So, okay. So we're back here with the actual play controller and receiver. So this is my transmitter that I just got and I will show you exactly the firmware I used. Okay. So the firmware I used firmware I used for the receiver is this guy here which is our XSR access F port like I mentioned 1.1.1 as you saw on the website so this is the actual firmware that is on this guy here okay so let's go back and um, I will show you my connection setup so I have this in access access mode channel 1 through 16 okay and as you can see it's bound to the receiver 1 as an RXSR okay so just quickly let's connect this and I will show you that everything works all right so just connected it let's go back you see right there we got our RSSI signal but you're gonna get our SSI signal even if if F port it does not work it just it's just because it comes straight up from the from the receiver what I'm gonna show you is the telemetry information that I was able to get so right here you see I got about 12 sensors okay let's delete them all okay they're all gone and then discover new sensors there they are so these sensors are actually coming in from the RXSR and um, not not from RXSR from fry controller and RXSR able to read them and I'll output, out, output them to a transmitter so it, again as you can see just one wire everything works and I get the I get the telemetry. So let's connect this guy to a beta flight really quick, and I will show you in beta flight my settings. That way you guys are able to to kind of see what I've done and duplicate that. Let's connect this guy. All right. Okay. Let's move to the beta flight. All right. So in beta flight. I'm going to connect to the play controller. Let's click on configuration and look at my configuration. So I use the serial based receiver and I use the Fry Sky port here. Everything save and reboot. So that's that should be your setup. So this is the the interesting the CLI commands and I will show you what I have. So in order to see them just type get serial all right so as you can see these are my current um, commands uh, and uh, how, how they written uh, into the beta flight so I do have the serial RX provider F port my serial RX inverted equals off and my serial RX half duplex equals on and serial update rate Hertz is 100 again just going back to the website I showed you this exactly matches what their website states so everything works everything is just smooth as butter so I'm excited I spend uh, a lot of time doing a lot of trial and error uh, that F port did not work for me the original F port did not work for me and uh, the reason I think it did not work for me is because in order for the F port to work, okay. Telemetry lost. All right, fine. Let me turn off this transmitter real quick. So in or uh, in order for the F port to work, you have to have a bidirectional inverter inside the flight controller, okay. And F four flight controllers do not come with that originally, unless the manufacturer um, adds one in. So and as you know our XSR signals coming in inverted from the actual pins here so even after you flash it with an F port firmware 
your F port signal is going to be inverted coming in from this pin, from the S port pin. It becomes an F port pin. And if you try to connect it to the actual F.P pad on this board, you will get RC signal, but you're not going to get telemetry. And the reason is not because the signals going, the, the signal that is going back from the flight controller to the receiver, which is the telemetry, it's not inverted, right? It's not a bidirectional. And the receiver is unable to read that. That's why you're not getting it on the transmitter. So in order for this to work, you got to have a bidirectional inverter. And I know on the GEPRC website, the manual states that it is an inverted TX pad, but it, I bet it's a, it's a uni uh, directional. It's not bidirectional. Okay, you need a single direction inverter, and that's not going to work for the F board. That's why we actually had to grab the uninverted signal from the RXSR and put it on the clean MTUR2 pad and just do it that way. Okay, so I know the, the, the latest receivers from the Fry Scar, like the R9 receivers, they will have the uninverted. Uh, actual connector and you don't you don't have to do this whole pad soldering anymore and that, that would be actually uh, helpful one thing I'm not sure is why would they add this pad non bidirectional so I'm not really sure why I thought the whole idea of the of the flight uh, F fry sky port is is to be bidirectional so I'm not sure why it didn't work for me maybe maybe there's a bug or something so uh, anyway, it did not work for me using the FP uh, pad. It only worked for me using the T2 UART on the flight controller and um, uninverted signal from the uh, RXSR receiver. So that's after flashing the receiver to the F port firmware. All right, hopefully this was helpful uh, and, and it, it hopefully it saves people time to figure it out. But uh, we do get telemetry, everything works, and... Um, I'm excited. So yeah, our XSR receiver works with the GEPRC version 1.1 uh, via F port. Thanks guys.